her back over to the left. I've been talking all week about the idea of we need to get them moving off our leg. So the more I get this on her, then the more framework I'll have to use to fix things when I'm out there in the real world. It's a technique right there we talk about sometimes. I didn't poke her and jab her, but when she got kind of stuck there and got a little mad at me and didn't want to move over, I took my spur and you heard it, didn't you? Went zing, 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 right up her belly. Zip, just like that. Uh, rather than uh, punching her, we're just mm, holding it in there. Just trying to get her lighten up, pick up her back, and move away. Step around. Any bit of athleticism at all? Yeah, she's like a lead weight, isn't she? Yes. Move that rib cage over when I ask you to turn. better. See what happens, and all of us have felt this, I turn her right here, and I squeeze the outside leg, and this rib cage and this hip just push into my leg and go around that corner. So that's absolutely disrespectful on my leg. And I say, hey, wait a minute. You can't just lean on my leg like that. You can't just make a motorboat turn like that. If I come in here and tip you into the fence, you've got to step across, and you better get off that leg. And if you don't, I'll remind you how important that is. Is that when you go up the side? Might be, yep. Or do you pulse? It's a pulse with the rim. Zing, zing, get her over. Yes, Gail? I could have done that instead of jabbing her. Yeah, you know, every situation is a little bit different. If I was sitting on your horse, maybe I'd do something different. but. For her right now, this is kind of what it feels like uh, she needs. Yeah, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I might come in here and see, I'm just kicking her. She's taking the brunt right there of the blow with my calf. I think my spur is just touching her, but, it, but it, it's not jabbing her, you know. I want her to. I feel like I'm not just kicking an empty barrel. And then maybe now I'll come in and say, you know, that kick means something. Better step over. She's a toughie, that man. That's looking that better. Finally. That's better. Well, if you just hang around right there in that turn, I'm going to 
above you, or sing you, or something. Do you think all my wrestling with her, I've just kind of dulled her out? What do you think, Richard? Tell me again. Have I just kind of dulled her out the way I wrestle with her so much and stuff, you know? Dulled her out? Dulled her out. Because, I mean, you're you're getting a good response out of her now. Yeah, when, when, when there's, there's confusion and they don't understand, they just, you know, kind of, eh, they put up defenses, they put up blocks, they try to go to the happy place, whatever they can do, because there's real no, there's real, not really any clarity there. You know, uh, if you and I were sitting around talking, I understand perfectly what you're trying to get her to do. Because we both speak English. If you go out and try to tell your horse, he don't speak English. There's only a, the only language he knows is the body language, horse language. And if we're not speaking that clearly, then they don't get it. So I haven't been a very good communicator. <laughs> we're all somewhere on the scale, Julie. You're better than some, and there's a few folks better than you. Yeah. We're all somewhere. Just quite a few. <laughs> Just a lot I'm of sure food. a lot better than me. There, then let her go. All I want to do is soften up.